<clears throat> Tuesday, Tuesday, here we go, South Florida. Checking in on the radar, we are mainly dry. There have been a few showers trying to make their way onshore in off the Atlantic. You can see a few of those showers right now just hovering near Key Biscayne, and most of them are just beginning to dissipate and fizzle out, so that's good news. Winds are fairly light out of the north, three, five miles per hour calm in Key West. Visibility is down to only a half mile in West Kendall, so that's where the most dense fog is currently. But again, as we head throughout the morning, we could see some more fog forming in other spots. Uh, elsewhere, visibility is looking pretty good. However, if you're headed towards the west or just to the north of us, we do have a dense fog advisory for inland Broward County, inland Palm Beach County, Naples, Miccosukee, as well as parts of Bell Glade and even into Wellington. So if you're going to be traveling towards any of those neighborhoods, make sure that you use your low beams and give yourself extra time. Part of the reason we're seeing the fog is, of course, overnight cooling and clearing skies as well as light winds. And right now, temperatures cooler inland with the upper 60s in Kendall. Elsewhere, we're seeing low 70s for Fort Lauderdale, Miami, low to mid 70s down across the Keys. As we look at the tropics, we have an area of showers and storms here over the Caribbean, but we're still monitoring tropical storm Rena. That is, once was tropical depression over 19. It did intensify. It is not a threat to land. It is located way out there in the central Atlantic, 880 miles east of Bermuda, moving north at 12, and then forecast to become an extra tropical cyclone by the end of the week and just race off into the northern Atlantic. Look at these temperatures, 6 degrees in Billings, 20s, 30s, Minneapolis, Chicago, certainly seeing a big drop in degrees all behind this front, which is currently also bringing some very messy, soggy weather across the south. Now temperatures are also dropping to the 40s across the mid-Atlantic northeast, where we've seen well above average highs the past few days, but that'll be changing. And right now we're dealing with very active weather across parts of Tennessee and into the Great Lakes. For us, we're going to see more of what we had yesterday, mid to upper 80s, a 20% chance of maybe some spotty showers since the winds will be shifting more out of the northeast later on. And keep that in mind, boaters, seas one to three, a light chop on the bays. Tonight will be nice and mild with low 70s, a few inland areas dipping down to the upper 60s. And we could see some fog over the next few days. We'll continue with seasonable temperatures and about a 20% chance of rain. Highs in the low to mid 80s could see a few more breezy showers as we head into Veterans Day weekend. 